Do name brand snacks have something the store brands lack? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now the Renaissance may be long in the past, but we are currently living in a golden age of snacks, a snack hmm. Yeah, because Michelangelo may have sculpted David, but in these times, Cheez-Its and Tetragram sculpt third graders. <laughs> okay. Now I know you, you had a big snack game in your kitchen growing up. What was your favorite after school snack? Um, well, I would usually prepare myself an entire meal when I got home from <laughs> okay. uh, school, so, you know, the meal. Well, do you know my favorite snack after school at your house? Uh, bacon bits. Yeah, that's it. Well, I, not, not really a snack, it's a topping that you commonly Technically bacos, they were artificial bacon bits, but, um, and I, yeah, I don't know if I'd call them a snack at all, at least to me, but all the best snacks have generic knockoffs at lower price points. Uh, but the question is, are they just as good? It's time for Knockoff Knockout Snacks Edition. All right, we're gonna be presented with several rounds of snack products. One of them's gonna be from a well-known name brand. The other three will be non-name brand, generic versions of that same product. Yeah, we're gonna be competing to try and correctly identify which one is the name brand snack, and the winner in the end is gonna get an outfit that makes him look like a total snack. Okay, bring on the snacks. First up, we got a classic mini treat. Ritz Bits, and how does the original, which we need to identify, stack up against, or sandwich up to the knockoffs? Man, they are all very identical, and there's a little bit of a no, difference. No, the, che the cheese is different. Like, the cheese in this one is the same color as the cracker. Yeah, this is all uniform. That tastes good. Oh, man. Oh, it's good, it's strong, that cheese is strong. Yeah, now this one, this one looks the same. Again, the cheese is the same color as the cracker. It's the same. The cheese is not as strong. Are you sure? I'm sure, buddy. They taste no different to me. Maybe maybe, maybe the, the edge is off. Because maybe this one's more salty. Now, and then this one, if you look at it, the it, cracker is a little more toasted. And the and the and the cheese is, is got orange. An oranges orangeness to it. I'm not even going to eat that one because I don't think there's enough cheese in it. Hmm. Butterier. That's good. That's good. That's real good. These weren't bad, but this is dramatically better. The cracker itself. It does taste like, almost like a cookie. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna be guessing with our flags. As you can see, mine is a play on Ritz crackers because my name is Rhett. Mine says Linky Maid because uh, I also have a part-time job as a maid. Mm -hmm. All right, I, okay. I gotta vote for this. Oh, well, there's a three, I'm two, three, two, one. one. I gotta vote for this. Uh, nicely not stabbing, put your things in. Yeah, three, right. two, one. It has to be oh, this th one. I mean, I if mean, this is not Ritz Bits, then this sh they should start just putting these in the and Ritz Bits it's, it's not really about the cheese as much as the butteriness of that cracker. You are both correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah, night you know, and day. You know what else they got right? Okay, the cheese, first of all, they went the extra mile to make the color of the cheese more appetizing. Mm-hmm. The cracker is distinct, but you see the toastiness around the edge of the cracker? No other replica gets close to achieving that. The others are 365 from Whole Foods, O Organics from Safeway Vons, and Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's are the worst, but they're all crap compared to the original. Don't yeah. be fooled. They're all crap. All right, next snack is Honey Made Graham Crackers, which by themselves are a snack of their own, but coupled with chocolate and marshmallows, you get an even stronger snack, like a reverse Harry Styles in One Direction. <laughs> Let's give it a snack. So these are these are the darkest. And then, it, for me, one of the tests is how is the- um, The perforation? The punctu perforation, yeah. Up, the perforations in this are basically just, there is no perforation, it's just for show. Um, the perfor, uh, yeah, I don't. Doesn't taste I, bad. The perforation in these is so strong. Does it work though? Oh, yeah. Oh, Bro yeah, it, it just works. Bro I, I, it look, just look, broke look. on its own. Oh, yeah. Oh, the perforation is very functional. The holes are deeper. Very functional perforations. The te it doesn't have nearly the flavor as the first. One. It tastes like cardboard. Yeah. I'd rather get taste than perforates. Okay, I go. feel like graham crackers are a snack where you have to like let them 
sit for a moment in your mouth. In your mouth. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? You got to like soak them a little. Soak them with what? <laughs> soak them with saliva. <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah. These have got, the perforation game here is just through the roof, but the flavor does not top number one. Maybe we just don't like graham crackers by themselves. By themselves. Are you choking? Yeah, I'm choking on graham crackers. All right. Again, great perforation. Perforation here. is across the board for these third. <laughs> Crispy. Let it marinate. Hmm. Crispy, and there's a vanilla flavor in there. It's not, it's not bad, but it's not it's not what you it's not what you sign up for when you when you when you beep beep beep. Are you ready beep, to beep, nicely beep. stick your sticks in your choice? How could the tastiest one not have any perforation? <laughs> and how could the copies of the original have better perforations? Right. Why would you take the time to be like, we really gotta get the perforations right if the perforations were wrong to begin with? All right, I okay, have one go. little thing I'm going on. Three, two, one. I'm going on the slight vanilla flavor in those. There's no way, I've never tasted that vanilla. The honey made graham crackers are in bowl number four. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. The others are Trader Joe's. Trader First... Joe's. Y'all gotta perforate, get your perforation game going. But your taste is nice. First Street from Smart and Final and Market Pantry from Target. You like the uh, Target ones? I no, I I thought that while it didn't taste super familiar, it tasted more complex. And you know, you pay for a complexity. If you don't need to perforate, go with Joe. Yeah. We want to take a quick snack break to say we think you would really like what Mythical Chef Josh and the Kitcheneers have been cooking up over on the Mythical Kitchen channel. You know, yeah. they also have a podcast. Uh, he and Nicole, it's called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, and you can get it wherever you get your podcast. And recently they debated crunchy versus smooth peanut butter. I know. It got heated. It yeah, got very heated. I know. Go check it out, Mythical Kitchen. Definitely have my opinions, but check out what theirs were. Uh, speaking of peanut butter, next we have the Utz peanut butter filled pretzels, or as I like to call them, Utz peanut butter that happens to be wrapped in pretzel. Interesting perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really want to say that because I didn't want to risk you getting upset and storming off as you tend to do. Well, I might do in this that. format. Well, just watch yourself. Okay, before we start, well, actually, let's just start on the first one. Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. This one looks burnt. And see if you remember. Compared to that. Do you remember that we had these in a particular place? The, the, the memory that's coming to my mind is a big barrel. There's a big plastic barrel of these. They were on the set of Buddy System. Yes. And. Man. Whoa, I just spit right out. I just, Buddy system, just spit right out. That one wasn't great. I ate so many of these, but I don't know if they were Uts. They were probably generic, but they were good. It tastes odd. And they're not as good. The peanut butter in those is pretty good, actually. It's like up at, it's like unwrapping a peanut butter present. Like, I don't think any of these are good so far. I know. What is that about? How could these not be good? I don't know. Now this one, this one's darker too. More toasty. Hmm. It's very confusing. The pretzel is the star over here in number four. Here we go. I'm just gonna vote for the one that I would that I would want. Three, two, one. I voted here all three times. This I is like that, my slot today. The reason I voted number two is the peanut butter flavor had a higher quality to it, in mm. my estimation. I'm guessing. The Uts peanut butter filled pretzels are in bowl number one. Really? The other ones are Kirkland Signature from Costco, Gold Emblem from CVS, really? well, and CVS? Great Value from Walmart. Just, just, it doesn't matter. Get whatever's closest. Yeah, these you just get what you like. All right, now we got Kellogg's Cheez-Its. Not Cheez to be confused with Kraft's Cheese Nips. <laughs> the nip is not it, and that's just a tip. <laughs> so there's no Kraft Cheese Nips in here at all. Unless there was a nip slipped in there. Oh, okay. A more. Man, that's so good. A toastier one. The cheese pops you, man. Now, they also sell one that's like extra toasty, right? These are the originals that were See, to go. These are, these are less toasty, just more straight up orange. Crunchier. Crunchier. <laughs> Ooh, the taste is nasty. Shinier. Where, where's the cheese taste? They look great but they do not deliver on their promise. They look like cheeses. That's it. Over here. 
What That's is this crap? Fish food? No, those don't taste bad. They just don't look good. I think I'm still tasting that. Th this is crap. These don't taste great. These are okay. These taste, these taste excellent. And let's go here. These are thicker, they're hard. Very little cheese flavor on these too. I mean, there's a remarkable difference between one and the other ones. Guys. I just can't believe that these are cheeses. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm so confused. I gotta go. That I'm going on looks alone because the taste has completely gotten away from me. The cheeses are in bowl number three. Mm. Link slot. So the, we said these weren't bad. Hold on. That's what a cheese it looks like? They are crunchier. That's not a cheese it. What's number one? Because we agreed that was the cheesiest. That is 365 from Whole Foods. All right. I, we, I, we gotta recommend those. Great value from Walmart and Market Pantry from no, Target. Great value from Walmart looks exactly like what I think a cheese it looks like, which is not what a cheese it actually looks like. So if that's important to you, go to Walmart. Saltine crackers. Man, it, I'm, I'm not sick, so I don't know how to interpret this. <laughs> that, that's the only time that I eat these. I eat them with, when with I, uh, soup. When, yeah, but I eat soup when I'm sick, like a chicken noodle soup. You don't eat soup when you're not sick? I don't eat soup with crackers when I'm not sick. Give yourself soup with crackers when you're not sick and see how good of a life you can live. Hmm. <laughs> We're looking for the premium saltine from Nabisco. Without soup, it tastes like sawdust. It'll help settle your stomach, man. I don't even know how to interpret what just happened. Nothing. Yeah, it's not no, very salty though. Are Nothing. these the saltless ones, or these? Do these have well, a little? Those didn't have any salt. salt. Oh gosh! First one didn't have any salt. Oh you gosh! Because you know that there's there's salted and unsalted. I think that might just be crumbs. We'll find out. No, there's salt on this. Look, clearly there's salt on it. It's all sparkly. This is nasty. This is the worst cracker. It's like I've ever tasted in my yeah, entire life. It's like life. if you go to the if like, if you take your niece to the mall and you get her to get her earring. It tastes like poison. Get, get her ear pierced. And then right after they pierce her earring, before they put like a, a ring in it, you go up to your niece's ear and you just, you suck on the hull. <laughs> like that's what it tastes like. What is wrong with you? I mean, I think it's bad, but what you just said is sacrilegious. I don't even have a niece. I will say, whoever, whoever made these when we find out, I'm, I'm gonna suck public, on your ear. publicly humiliate you. <laughs> All right, these have salt. That's pretty good. Okay. Could could almost be premium. Now we're talking number three. Number three has redeemed our hope. Number four's got a lot of uh, salt on it as well. Oh, okay. I feel pretty good about this. That, that, this one does not have salt. <laughs> three, two, one. It's my slot. I'm sticking in my slot. I think it's number four. It's either three or four. It's not two. I'll the Nabisco it. premium saltines are in bowl number one. What? Are you ready for what's in bowl number two? Public humiliate them. Yeah. Uh, this is Gold Emblem from CVS. Golden what? Gold Emblem. Oh. It really rolls off the tongue. Listen, Golden Blum. Y'all need then, to take that emblem and you need to just rip it off of your chest. I will never go into a CVS again because of that. Then it's 365 from Whole Foods and that? Kroger. Kroger was great. Kroger was better than the original. Yeah. Not surprising. They usually bring that game. I got to tell you, Rhett, congratulations because you won. That's con I'm congratulately obligated. Oh, look at you. You get to look like a snack. He Actually. You get a little like kind of like Randy the Macho Man Savage. <laughs> you kind of look like a weird dude at the flea market that sells framed pictures of nude women. Hey. Okay. What size nipples you like? <laughs> Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hello, this is Bertie Black checking in from Nottingham and the oldest pub in England. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Mm. I like your voice. You should be in cartoons. <laughs> Click the top. I'm sorry. Link. I didn't Watch mean Watch us it. play the brand new game that we invented, the Ziploc mouthfeel game in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?